we didn't want to just be in a band and just sound like somebody else. We wanted to create our own sound, and that was that was a very important thing for us to create a create a vibe, something that was very uniquely ours. Cowboy Junkies have been uniquely defining themselves for 35 years. The band was formed by childhood friends Michael Timmons and Alan Anton, who recruited two more Timmons siblings, Pete on drums and Margot on vocals. As noise complaints brought police to their door, the Junkies adopted the hushed sound they're famous for. Arriving on the energy of playing live together, the band recorded their first album around one mic in their garage. They loved the intimate sound of one mic and repeated the unusual technique for their now legendary Trinity session recording over 12 hours at Toronto's Church of the Holy Trinity. The next day, Michael and Margot played the tape for their mom. And my mom, who didn't know very much about music, but she turned to me and she said, your life will never be the same. And it never was. Fiercely independent, Cowboy Junkies released the Trinity Session on their own label. In 1988, the album was a whisper that cut through the noise. And as the band's success grew, record companies came knocking. The Junkies signed hesitantly. It was us, and then them, and it was the music first, and then the business. And um, we've always kept that. been a wild year of, of rock and roll fantasy <laughs> and um, if it ends you know we'll go on doing what we did before and that was just playing music with no one listening <laughs> Sun comes up, it's Tuesday morning. but there was a massive audience listening and the Trinity session sold over a million copies took it full advantage like we never we didn't stop for years like it was a good three or four or five years where we just toured and recorded non-stop the band released their next album the caution horses they toured with their idol towns van zant they recorded five albums in the 90s sticking to their quiet introspective vision three albums went gold and one went platinum then, as the decade changed, so did the music industry, and Cowboy Junkies became an independent band again. But that didn't slow them down, nor weaken their focus. You know, we, we make records and we play live, that's sort of what we do, and we just truck along. The Junkies released four more albums and revisited the Trinity Session in 2007, heading back into the church. Following that, they challenged themselves with the Nomad series, releasing four albums over two years. Never wavering from their vision, after a six-year break from recording, they released 2018's All That Reckoning. All that reckoning let me back to you. For me, our proudest accomplishment is that we're still together um, and that we're still enjoying what we do and putting out, I consider, really good music after 35 years. It's not easy, um, but we've worked hard at it and we can still sit in the same room, kind of. Um. Lance is not too much. <laughs> Thank you so much.